Hello, mini nukes, and welcome back to Red vs. Blue, season 8, episode 14. So, we should be finished with season 8 in this React episode. And then fun things will happen from then on. Not to say that everything that we've watched so far is not fun, but, you know, we're getting closer to the stuff that I haven't watched. And I'm super excited to see all that stuff and have my mind blown and everything in between. <laughs> In other news, I received another shirt from the Rooster Teeth store today that came in the mail. I ordered it not too long after I ordered the red versus blue one and it arrived today. So um, you probably can't tell what it is, but um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is part of um, Jeff's collection of merchandise. And if you don't know who that is, Jeff is the one who voices Griff on the show and I, I really like the style of the shirt. I believe the the little kitty on the on the pocket there is actually one of the tattoos that he has on his hand. Um, but I just think it's really cute. So I, I ordered it. I couldn't resist. So, you know, at least it's still related to Rooster Teeth and whatnot. So that's why I'm wearing it. And also because I received it today and I want to wear it. So here we are. But enough about that. In the last React episode, we witnessed the best episode ever. Well, in my opinion, that is. I haven't watched the full thing, so I don't know what other episodes I'm going to really enjoy. But so far, episode 10, I think, of season 8 is my favourite. And we watched it and I was amazed all over again. <laughs> so yeah, Church is back in his original body, or one of his bodies out of thousands. <laughs> um, Tex is also back for some unknown reason. Um, I also made an observation when I was editing the previous React episode that Tex, I, I don't really know what she is, but I realized that when she came out of the, the room that she was in when she burst the door open, you could hear these robotic sounds when she like cracked her, her head and her knuckles, I think. There were these robotic sounds, and I don't know if that's like a new revelation of some kind, like that's a like that's a, a reveal of some of something. But I just made that observation, so I don't know if that has any relevance or if it's just some sound effects or I don't know. But to me, it just it I just realized it when when I was watching the episodes back. So I don't know if that's new information or if I've missed something or or what. I don't know, but it just strikes me as a bit odd that she had these robotic sounds when she came out of where she was. So I, I could assume that she's just part of her is just stored in that body. So that's why she she was making those sounds because it's it's not her. It's just like a consciousness of her or something. I think that that's the best explanation that I have, that it's just her consciousness in, in that robot body because it's just a shell. I don't know, but I just wanted to point that out because that's that's an observation I made and I wasn't too sure what to think about it. But now that I'm saying it out loud, I, I feel like that's what it is. It's just her consciousness put into that and that's why it's making those sounds. <laughs> Anyways, on with the rest of the show. Great, he's done. Why is it sparking like that? This thing's been through a lot. It's pretty badly damaged. But now that it's a capture unit, we just need to get it near Epsilon, and we can pull him in. What if it breaks? Don't worry. It'll hold until we get him. After that, it doesn't matter. It can short out for all I care. Then what's the point of all this? I just have to deliver Epsilon to the chairman. I don't have to guarantee what condition I deliver him in. He's just evidence anyway. Meta, grab him. Doc, get ready to move. Move? Move where? We don't know where they are. We know they're not here. So gather your gear and get ready to move out. Well, can we track them? Track them? You know, pick up a trail, like footprints. Footprints. In the desert. <laughs> Don't special agents have the ability to track their targets through any kind of terrain? Follow broken tree branches? Tree branches. In the desert. Okay, these are bad examples. Maybe heat signatures. In the desert. Like exhaust trails? I don't know. Tell you what. Why don't you just stick to not understanding medicine? Don't feel the need to expand your sphere of ignorance. Fine! Jeez, I'm just trying to help! <laughs> Poor dog. Him? Uh, he's always whining about something. Hey, Meta. 
Is there any way we could track the Reds by trying to pick up a trail, like a uh, heat signature or something? Yes. I know we're in the desert. <laughs> so you back to 100% yet? Yeah. And whatever I didn't learn from Caboose, I've been able to pick up from the rest of the guys. Didn't take long. Yeah, we really don't seem to do much. Maybe you should get a hobby. Like knitting. We'll look into it. Church knitting. I want to see hey, that. Hey, how did you know how to bring me back? Honestly, I didn't have much choice. I couldn't get you out of my head, so I kind of had to get you out of my head. Wow. How emo. Maybe you can blog about it. Hey, you asked. When I was beating the hell out of the Reds, the alarm said it was level alpha. Do you know why? You know, I didn't think about that, no. Then I want you to have Sheila give me access to the files here. Why? Because I'm going to figure out exactly what they did to me here. I need to know who I am. I know who you are. You're my girlfriend. Well, that's probably the most underwhelming description of all time. Hey, lots of ladies would be happy to be my girlfriend. What other women do you even know? Um, do we, uh, well, there's, uh, uh, that's, uh, oh, Griff had a sister. I knew he was going to say that. Like me? I wouldn't be too proud of that. <laughs> she was pretty easy. How do you know she was easy, Tex? You know what? Never mind. Don't tell me. It's better in my head. Where did you even come from? I'm always close by. Hey, can I kill him? You can hurt him. Kill him later. <laughs> hmm. That actually sounds more fun. Man, I thought the old church was whipped, but you're really taking it to a whole new level. Why do you even put up with him? It's not so bad. I mean, I admit, sometimes it gets pretty hard, and I really don't know how to handle it. And now I'm back. Come on, let's get in there. Sims, this is our chance. Get to the computer and start entering the blues back in the database. Yes, sir. Come on, Griff, I need your help. My help? With the computer? Simmons, you must have me confused with someone who can help you with the computer. Kind of lost your train of thought on that one. Yeah, a little bit. Fooling the blues is one thing. If I'm entering all these names and records, I need someone to hold up the papers for me. Uh, sorry, dude. Paper holder's not in my job description. No, but I'm going to be working in the personnel files so I can add it to your job description. In fact, I can make your job whatever I want. How does Chief Executive Butt Taster sound? You can't do that. I can't? I thought you didn't understand how computers work. In fact, while I'm in there, why don't I just make you a woman? It's just a checkbox, and we could always use a little more diversity in our team. I know Tucker will be happy. <laughs> make me a woman. Yeah, right. Like, changing a form would actually turn me into a woman. I mean, that's just... How stupid does he think I... I, I better go help him. <laughs> Good call, numbnuts. That's great. You picked up a trail? Really? Hi, guys. What's up? Oh, uh, Meta here was able to pick up a faint trail of the Reds based on gas spectrometry and, uh, um, resident heat signatures. What? I thought you said you couldn't do that. I didn't say we couldn't do that. I said you were an idiot. Those are two different discussions. I want credit for the idea. Doc, just let us do our job. You do your job. Anything medical to report? No, the dead aliens are still dead. Also still aliens, but that's less significant. Wonderful. Yeah, one other thing. You know that Stockholm Syndrome where prisoners start to like and identify with their captors after being held hostage for long enough? What about it? No one has that yet. The feeling is mutual. Okay, so I think what I gathered from that is Church's image of Tex is the text that we're seeing right now. And that Caboose telling Epsilon stories was basically telling stories to both of them. Because Epsilon is Church's memories, but Church's memories is also including Tex. So he put Tex in in that in that body, <laughs> right? Does, is that, does that make sense? I think. That, that's what I gathered from that, so I, I think I think that's what that is. <laughs> and these are accurate. All of them. As far as I can tell. How's it going in here? Well, I'm helping her access all this data, and she's not constantly pounding me in the face, so I would say that's good. <laughs> well, it's a start at least. Hey, come over here. Take a look at these. Sheila's giving us a hard time, but we're getting through. She only seems to want to listen to you. Sheila keeps calling me director. Maybe that has something to do with it. The director? There's almost no information on him. I asked Sheila, but... I am sorry, but access to the director's personnel file is restricted. Yes, Sheila, we know. You don't have to keep repeating it. I am just doing my job. Can't you mute her? Don't even think about it, Buster. Uh, Sex. I really don't like it when girls pay direct attention to me. Well, what did you find in the files? Not much. Standard clerical info. Whole bunch of win-loss statistics. Psych profiles. Psych profile? Yeah, they have one on everybody. 
except the director and... Let me guess. And you. And us. No church either. Everyone else is in there, though. Full profile. Washington used to wet the bed. I'm gonna go tell the other guys. So, no new info? Wild use chase again? Maybe. Maybe not. Look at this picture. Do you have any idea what this is? What is that? Ice? Oh, yeah. I know that place. That's a, uh, secure location. Like, um, a safe house. Wait, how do I know that? You know it because it's a freelancer base. And it's not far from here. If you already know what it is, why the hell are you asking me? Because I'm not interested in what I know. I'm interested in what you know. What is that? Fucking wisdom? Listen, next time you want to ask me a goddamn question, just ask it. Don't beat around the bush. I couldn't take the risk. You might have just told me what I wanted to hear. You are completely fucking whipped. Told you so! I'm gonna go see what weapons they have stored here. Okay. You need any help? Director. Huh? What? Before you leave, would you like to make a journal entry? It has been quite a while since your last update. Journal? Yes. I know you are busy, but you always ask me to remind you when you are falling behind on documentation. Documentation is an important part of any scientific endeavor. Right. Um, hey, why don't you play one of the entries for me? Certainly. The counselor's insistence on referring to Agent Texas as a byproduct continues to frustrate me. We have seen Sheila, I want you to transfer all these files to me. Fragments. Understood. She is certainly Transferring not now. And do me a favor. She's something Delete else the rest. Entirely. Deleting entries. Mm, what are those blues up to? Probably the same thing they're always up to. Looking at us and going, hmm. I wonder what those reds were up to. Hey, Griff. Hey, man, what's up? Griff, where's Simmons? He's messing around with some storage boxes, trying to inventory them, see if we need anything, nerd stuff. That's resourceful. Why aren't you helping him? I am helping him. How are you helping him standing right here? Oh, I'm on break. Fifteen minutes. You're always on break. Hey, if you don't use it, you lose it. Speaking of which, I'm also on Simmons break. You know, I've reached a level where I'm not even disappointed in you. How do you think I feel? I'm spending my break talking about Simmons. <sighs> I'd envisioned so much more. Break's <laughs> over. Go see what he's up to. Uh, fine. Fine what? Fine, sir. That's more like it. Hey, have you guys seen Tex anywhere? Oh, there you are. Whoa. What's with the new armor? I'm leaving church. What? Where? Can't say. There's some things I need to look into. You're going to that frozen base, aren't you? I need to know more about myself, church. And I'm not going to find anything out by sitting around on my ass with all of you. Well... Let us come with you. You guys? This is a military operation. I need people with military training. We have military training. Um, I need people who understand the military training. Wow, look who's getting picky. <laughs> yeah, beggars can't be choosers. No offense, but you guys just end up slowing me down half the time, or more than half the time. All the time is more than half the time, right? You know what? Fuck it. Why are we even arguing about this? We don't want to go anyway. Yeah, good luck on your mission to the empty base guarded by tons of real military dudes who are all looking for you anyway. Yeah, hope you find your empty base and your files full of nothing. Well, I'm going and I'm not going to let you stop me. Yeah? Okay. I have a feeling I could use you before this is done. Oh, and when you both get killed again, be sure to let us know. That way we can revive you so that you can run off and get killed. Again. Seriously, it never gets old to us. Has Caboose always been standing there? Yo, what? Very interesting. Sarge wants to know what you're doing over here, dipshit. I added the dipshit. I think I found where the freelancer stored some of their equipment for their armor. Okay, okay, stop. I'll just tell Sarge Simmons is doing something seriously fucking boring. Thanks. The freelancers all had AI and a special power, right? This is the equipment that let them do that. Oh, cool. Like the invisibility and super strength and stuff? Yeah, we can just hook them up to our armor and activate them. And they would work? Well, they need an AI to help them run exactly right. But they have to help in some way. Would they even work when we're... asleep? I guess so. Why? Wait. You want to turn invisible and take a nap, don't you? Think about it, Simmons. The ability to nap whenever I want, and Sarge could never find me. Invisible nap is the best nap of all time. <laughs> no man should have that kind of power. <laughs> I would be completely unstoppable. Actually, you would be the exact opposite of that. Totally stoppable. Already stopped. Think about it, Simmons. I really don't want to. Think about it? No. Are you thinking about it? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Then suit me up. Wow, you 
took all those guys out at once? Was that really necessary? Yeah, to live. No, they won't. Oh, yeah, I see your point. Come on, let's get inside. Okay. Man, those guys got fucked up. What? Wait a minute. Oh, no. Tex, hold on a second! What's wrong? Um, yeah, don't know if I mentioned this before, but I've kind of had psychic visions about this place. Yeah, I thought it was Valhalla at first, but I guess it turns out it was here. Probably should have told you this earlier. Yes, you should have told me this earlier. Well, I'm telling you now. Does that count? Do you think it counts? Nah, probably not. You're not psychic, genius. You're just remembering. You've been here before. We all were. This is where they moved Alpha. After a few of us freelancers went rogue, we compared notes and pieced together what they were doing to him. I convinced them to come back. Break him out. The project moved him here to try to protect him. So that they could keep experimenting on him. Whoa! You were in charge of the break-in? I couldn't just let them destroy him. He was being tortured. The director had even started to use some of the other AI against him. Think about that. Turning his own pieces against him? It's sick. Gamma and Omega would fabricate scenarios where he was designed to fail. And they made it seem like his failures were hurting all of the people he cared about. And there was nothing he could do about it. It drove him mad. Broke him down even more. But you came back. You saved him. No, I didn't. It was too late. By the time I got to him, he was already long gone. I don't even think he recognized me. I failed. Only in my case... It really was my fault. Doc, do you have a second? I'm a prisoner, Wash. I have nothing but seconds. Right, good point. I mean, you don't even need to ask. You could just be like, Hey, prisoner number one, come over here and talk to me. I'm a freelancer. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you really need to step up your hostage-taking skills. Stop lecturing me, or I will shoot you and feed you to the meta. Does he eat people? Do you really want to find out? No, maybe. If we used another person, sure. That's kind of interesting. You've spent some time with him now. What's your diagnosis? Of who? The meta? Yes! Pay attention to what's being said! Testy! Based on what you've said, he's just underpowered. He has a bunch of equipment and he can't use it now. That's because he lost all his AI. Wow. If I had all these cool fighting gadgets and I couldn't use them, I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. What happens if he uses them without the help of the computer program? Let's just put it this way. It ain't pretty. All hooked up? Yeah. Installation was easy. You ready to turn on? Ready. Now listen, Uh you don't have an AI, so nothing's going to help you make the calculations you need to use this thing. So just take it easy. I was born to take it easy. Fire it up. Okay, it's on. Do you feel any different? No. Kind of energetic. Am I invisible? Huh? Am I? I Can you see me? Calm down. No. I can still see you. Try jumping. Jump! I jumped. Did that work, Simmons? I can do it again. Please, let me do it again. Want me to jump again? I'll do it right now. I won't even stop. Let me Uh jump, let me jump, let me jump. Why aren't you answering me when I talk with my mouth? (sighs) Walk over there. I have a theory. This one is either super healing or super... (laughs) Speed. Yeah, so the church said I love you forever? That didn't happen. Hey, Caboose! Whoa, what the hell was that? What was what? Hey, Griff. (laughs) That is one fine piece of machinery. Huh. I'm so angry all of a sudden. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. Hey, Chris, slow down, slow down. Ow! Hey, asshole. Are you dead? Ow, whoa, Simmons, hey, did you see that? Did you see? I saw it, I saw it totally. Did you see it? I hit that wall. Man, that was fast, that was super fast. I'm so fast. God, so fast. Why is it so hot in here? Griff, calm down. I'm calm. I'm totally calm. You be calm. Why would you say to be calm when you know I'm already calm? Isn't it obvious that I'm calm? That doesn't even make any sense. You should make some sense. Why is it so hot in here? What in Sam hell's all the racket? Hey, Sarge, what's up, Sarge? Simmons is doing some experiments, and I'm helping him, Sarge. Right now we're doing one where everyone talks slow and the lights are super bright, and I can smell clouds, and man, is it so hot in here! We installed a speed unit on Griff, and it's sort of... malfunctioning right now. Well, turn him off! I can't. They run on timers. We're just gonna have to wait it out. How long? How long? What's long? I like long stuff. I knew a giraffe once. I think it was in a book. A giraffe book. The book wasn't long, but the giraffe totally was. Because of the neck, you know? You know what I mean, do you? Do you? The part that connects the head to the... body. I'm gonna go to sleep now. That is not an approved operation. Hey, watch it, buddy. Can you show me the data logs? Affirmative. Simmons, any progress in restoring the blues? 
It's a lot of data entry, sir. I was thinking I could hack the mainframe and reroute the data stream Or to... we could just restore from an archived database. What? This is an off-site fallback facility. It is designed to have archives in case of data loss. Blue Team rosters would certainly be a part of that. Really? Yes. In fact, I am glad you pointed out the database anomaly. I had noticed it before, but did not have time to investigate. Strange. Oh. Okay, yeah, restore that then. Done. Great. You seem disappointed. Did I do it too quickly and make you look bad? No. I could always pretend that you hacked me if it would make you look better to your friends. Stop patronizing me. Affirmative. Patronizing subroutines are now offline. You're still patronizing me, aren't you? Kind of. Hmm. What is it, Griff? This is weird. If I'm reading this right, there's a bunch of other red and blue bases. Of course there are, Griff. The war is huge. The fate of the galaxy rests in the balance. Or not. What does that mean? Here, check this out. I'm looking at the list of missions for all the different bases, and some of them look... familiar. Let me see. Huh. Apparently they set up bases in various locations and then sent a freelancer in for... training purposes. Training? Practice. Practice? Yeah, the reds and blues are just there to test the skills of the freelancers. You mean the blues? No, I mean both of them. Both of us. It says here that simulation bases will present scenarios that may occur for freelancer agents in a galactic battlefield. Simulation? He means we're like lab rats. What? That, that's nonsense! We've been through so much! We had that whole battle with the blues for the something or other, and we set off that bomb thingy! And we got blasted through time and met an alien, and that guy got pregnant! According to this, that is... Scenario 3. 3? Why us, though? Let me see, let me see. Uh, bases are outfitted with matching weapons and vehicles to ensure long conflict and are staffed by... Low-level operatives. Hey, who's that report calling low-level? Stupid report. Punch it. Candidates for red and blue squads will be culled from enlisted army ranks based on low test scores and poor field skills so as to not be missed on... That actually does sound like me. What about you? I thought you were smart. Did you have low test scores, too? Hey, those time limits aren't fair. It should be important that I know the information, not how fast I know it. Jeez, guess I hit a nerve. And don't even get me started on the number two pencils. Well, Sarge, I always said command was full of... Sarge? Oh... Oh, he's sad. Oh. Uh, that's good. Uh, maybe a little to the left. What is all this? Oh, this is new red base. Welcome. When did you build this? <laughs> oh, I didn't build this. Your sergeant did. What? He built this? When? Oh, just now. He walked out of the room like ten seconds ago. Oh, he got sad about something, so he's making a red base here. And I'm helping. I am great at building forts. See? I already built the blue base. <laughs> Ours has blankets. Oh. Go away! That's Sarge, so what is all this? Simmons, didn't you hear? We're cannon fodder. Practice! Well, if I'm the leader of junk, I may as well have a base made out of junk. Pretty appropriate, right? Looks like shit. That was rhetorical, <sighs> dirtbag. Well, sir, I think this is an excellent strategy. The blues will never... Blues? Simmons, don't you get it yet? Griff was right all along. Thank you, sir. Don't call me that anymore. Sarge, this place is one lie after another. We don't know... Oh, we know. I know. You want to fool yourself, go ahead. You're just upset, sir. Don't call me that. What? Call you what? Sir, from now on, you call me by my name. Sarge. Or this dog. I'm not in charge anymore. Ah, quit. You what? Uh-oh. I get the feeling somebody else's world just got rocked. Yeah, I'll start working on another fort. I'd feel the same way too, to be honest. <laughs> Tex, stop. Where are we going? There's only one person left who knows what happened to me. The director. The director? Nobody even knows who he is. I can think of two people who might know. Wash and the Meta. Wash and Meta? Are you kidding me? Tex, forget all this. What if they don't even know? Then I get to kill Wash and Meta. If I can't find the director, I'll just dismantle everything he ever built. Tex, I think the director built all this for you. Ugh. Even more reason to burn it all to the ground. Facing Washington Meta is suicide even if we knew where they were. We don't. How the hell are you going to find them? They'll find us. Oh, so what? We just hold up and wait for them to come without ever even knowing when that's going to be? No. They'll come now. How? Are you just going to call them on the phone? Something like that. Tex? I needed you to come. 
Sheila said the recovery beacon wouldn't activate until we left the storage facility. Trex? I didn't ask to be paired with you. I didn't want to come back, but I'm here now, so I'm going to put an end to this. Tex, I would have helped you. You can't even help yourself. That's why you made me, Church. You made me to take on all the things you can't handle, just like you always have. Well, guess what? I'm going to handle it. Washington will be coming now. I have some things to get ready. Tex, why are you doing this? Funny you should ask. That's exactly what I plan to find out. What is that? Where is that coming from? It can't be. I'm getting it too. I should have known he might end up there. What is it? It's a recovery beacon. It's him. It's Epsilon. Doc, go get a vehicle. Meta, you grab the memory unit. But where are we going? We're going to the only place that's left. I love that Doc is just tagging along. I think it's really cute. Just having his input every now and then. Him, Wash, and the meta make like a great contrast between characters. I think it's great. And also I feel really bad for Sarge. It just hurts seeing how upset he is by the fact that basically the the, the red and blue team's lives have been a lie. That sucks. <laughs> I feel really bad for him. Alarm! Incoming recovery beacon. Level zero. Alarm! Oh no! <laughs> what was that? What kind of reaction was that? Isn't this basically Halo 3's version of Sidewinder? Seems there he like is. it. Something doesn't seem right here. Stop the car. Stop? I don't like this. How did he get hurt? Why isn't anyone helping him? You're right, this is a trap. Those walls there, perfect for a sniper. We walk into where he's hurt and suddenly we're boxed in. Nowhere to go. You think the Reds are trying to ambush us? The Reds? <laughs> no. This is an actual military tactic. We drill it all the time in training. No, whoever set this up is a freelancer. Yeah, but if a freelancer set this up, wouldn't they know that you guys were freelancers and that you would recognize this as soon as you saw it? What? No, you're overthinking it. That's just... Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> Told you so. Sergeant! Sergeant! Rest in peace. <laughs> what do you want, Blue? I need your help. Our help? Yes, Church is hurt. They must have gotten to him in Tex. They got Tex? Good. That just means she won't be able to beat the hell out of us anymore. No, we have to rescue them. Rescue them? Are you nuts? No one told them to leave. They're on their own. But this die! <gasps> Sergeant, please! Uh, hey dude, I don't know if you've picked up on this yet, but if you want to convince Sarge to do anything, I don't think the best argument is the Blues might die if we don't. Cowboy up, Caboose. I'm coming with you. What? I said I'm helping him. Who, the blue guy? Why on earth would you ever help a blue for no reason? We'll need some weapons. How'd your equipment test go, Simmons? About as well as you would expect. Huh, that's too bad. Well, I'm not going, and you can't make me. You quit, remember? I don't take orders from you anymore. And besides, this whole command structure thing was bullshit anyway. We all know that now. I'm not telling you to go. I'm not even asking. You're not? Nope. I'm going. That's it. If you want to come, then come on. But I don't expect you to. Simmons will probably tell you that statistically, some of us will probably die. All of us. All of us will probably die. But that's not what's important. Let me ask you two a question. You ever wonder why we're here? <laughs> um, it does seem to be one of life's great mysteries. No, I mean you! What are you doing here? You always act like you want to quit. But hell, you could have left whatever you wanted. No one would have stopped you. So why are you here? And you, Simmons. Me? You say you want to be in charge. They would have given you your own squad a dozen times over. You know it, and I know it. But you're still here. And you, Tucker, as much as I hate to admit it, you're actually good at being a soldier. I am? I know you like to make your rude comments and pretend like it all doesn't matter. But an entire alien race chose you to be their hero. So why are you here? And Caboose? Uh, it's good to see you. Thanks. I'm really enjoying the speech so far. <laughs> Maybe you're all here because this is the only place you fit in. 
Maybe you're here because you don't have anywhere else to go. Maybe you're all here because deep down, you want to be here. The reason doesn't matter. What matters is that you're here. For all we know, Texas and Church are dead. That means we're the only ones who know what's happened. The only ones who can prevent them from covering it up. So the way I figure it, these freelancer guys will use us, take us away from our families, and send us all over the dead gum galaxy just to test if their agents are ready for the big fight? Well, I guess I'm interested in showing them exactly what a big fight is all about. Time to clean a slate. So I'm not ordering you to go. I ain't even asking. You do what you gotta do, Private Griff. <sighs> I'll go get my car keys. Ah, all right then. Let's move! I don't think a jeep will get us there soon enough, but I think I know what we can use. I love this so much. This? Who the hell is gonna drive that? Why is it a hornet? Is looking at me? Sound so disappointed. You'll make me cry. Where's the director? The director? How would I know that? Wrong answer. Oh, oh badass. Helping watch. Unless there's a plan going on. That was the second worst throw ever. Second. Of all time. <laughs> what do you want from me? I ran track in high school. Caboose's was the worst. <laughs> Failing. 
Epsilon, it's over. You're coming with us. I'm not going anywhere with you. We can fight you. We can? We will. Ah, great. I'm sorry to hear that. Meta, give me the memory unit. Meta? Meta, no! Don't! Damn it! Doc, you have to protect Epsilon! Well, what do I do? Run! Oh boy. I knew you would do this, Meta. I just can't believe. Can't believe. I can't believe it. Here you are! Land right next to him! Right. Land. You do know how to land this vehicle, don't you? Sure, that just means stop flying, right? <laughs> Brace for impact! Oh shit! This is gonna suck! I still haven't got my paid ID. <laughs> Caboose. seen a line of horses crash into the battlefield from outer space before. <laughs> hey, is it possible for a memory fragment out of an artificial intelligence program enclosed inside of a robotic body to piss its pants? Because I'm pretty sure I just did that. <laughs> Come on. Let's see how many of your friends survive that. You know, they're not really my friends. That's okay. I'm sure none of them really survived. Griff! Look what you did to our ship! Ah, fuck it. It's a rental. Good point. Fuck it. <laughs> Checks? I'm sorry, Epsilon. The meta captured her in the memory unit. There it is! Over here! Help! Epsilon, there's nothing we can do. She's stuck in there. So, let her out. We rigged it so it's one way. We didn't want you to escape again. We'll unrig it! I need to get it to a lab, somewhere with tools. Simmons? Hey, he's the expert. I don't know what I can do to help. And it's in no condition to move. If it locks down before I can open it, she'll be trapped in there. We well, should try something. If I let her out... You have to come with me. Yes, fine. Just get her out. Caboose, Tucker, get in the base. See if you can find some tools. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. You three find me anything that has power. Anything and everything. We're going to need a lot to keep it online. On it! I can get her out. What? No, it's my only option. I need you, Epsilon. You're my only ticket out of this mess. If you get stuck in there, they'll never believe me. I'm not going back to prison. I can do it. No, I won't let you. You can't stop me. I have to help her. She's here because of us. Because of me? Not you, us, me, and Alpha, and the Director. You've started to remember. I found some journals from the Director. She's someone from his life. Someone he loved. Allison. Her name was Allison. Allison. When they made Alpha, she came back. She was a byproduct of the process. She's just a shadow. Don't call her that! She died in her real life, and that's all the director ever remembered of her. So now, no matter how tough she is, no matter how hard she fights, she's always going to fail, because that's what she's based on. No matter what she's doing, or what she's trying to accomplish, just when her goal is within her reach, it gets yanked away. Every. Single. Time. Can you imagine what that's like? I think I'm getting the idea. Although I do remember seeing parts of season 8 that I remember more or less, like that whole sequence there, there are some other revelations that I don't remember. That whole thing just there, I don't remember it, I don't. So, holy heck, hot damn, alright, okay, interesting. What are we looking for? Uh, power cells, batteries, anything. How is a power cell different from a battery? Griff, this is not the time! Hey! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Come on, Griff, let's go! Aren't we supposed to run away from explosions? <laughs> ah! What happened? The meta... 
there. And I was afraid we wouldn't get to kick a little ass today. Come on, fellas. Caboose, stay with Church. Okay. And try not to kill him by accident. <laughs> okay. getting emotional. Stop. <laughs> What's going on here? Church with Ed. He's going to find her. That unit looks bad. Let me see what I can do to stabilize it. Doc, go check on Wash. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh no. What? What? It's only gonna be open for a few more seconds. After that, he'll be trapped. Come on, Church. You can do it. Can you hear me? You can... Right towards my voice! It's shutting down. I can't stop it. Church? Are you there? Caboose? I'm sorry. Church? This is just like the opening of and Where the hell did the something. pelican in the water come from? Hmm, I don't know. I guess the meta must have hijacked it and crashed it here. 
That makes sense, right? Man, the chairman is gonna be pissed. The budget only allows for one crash pelican per mission. <sighs> All right, well, I guess you guys check out. You can head back to your training bases now. We just call them bases. <laughs> I bet. Hey, we solved your problem. Not bad for trainees. Gotta hand it to you. Killing one of these agents would be tough. But three? And this guy? The chairman will not be happy he's dead. Think he wanted to debrief him personally. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, be sure to let him know we're sorry. Whatever. You're free to go. If we need you, we know where to find you. Why are you guys helping me? You'll help us, Watch. That only makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> plus we need to even the teams. And I couldn't put up with Caboose constantly asking, Can we keep him? Can we keep him? <laughs> For whatever it's worth, thanks. Aw, how'd they so, do that? Looks like Blue Team has a new recruit, Sarge. Doesn't look so tough to me. Maybe this one can shoot. Come on, fellas. Let's go home. Uh, Jeep's busted, Sarge. Are we walking? That depends. You fellas gotten over your fear of flying yet? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the hornet. Hey! You can't take that! That's, that's UNSC property! Come back here! Hey, come on! I'm gonna lose my job! Hey, Chief, what do you want me to do with this thing? I can't get anything out of it. It's dead as a doornail. I don't care. Toss it in evidence. It's all a bunch of junk now, anyway. I'd like to say that I found her right away. That I just walked into the Epsilon unit and there she was, waiting for me. As you can probably guess, it didn't happen that way. But I know she's in here somewhere. And I'll find her. We always seem to find each other. For better or for worse. I don't know why the director did what he did. I don't know if he was trying to revive a memory from his past, or if he was just trying to get it out of his head. But I figured out something that the director didn't. It took Alpha, Delta, and all the rest to help piece it together for me, but... What I've learned is that... A great love is a lot like a good memory. When it's there, and you know it's there, but it's just out of your reach, it can be all that you think about. You can focus on it and try to force it, but the more you do, the more you seem to push it away. But if you're patient and you hold still, well maybe, just maybe, it'll come to you. I just need to make sure I'm somewhere that she can find me. I think this place is a little different than it was before. See, out there, everything is based on the Alpha. But in here, well, I guess I'm the Alpha. And maybe this time through, things will be a little different for me as well. I guess I'll find out. Hey, Church, come on. I think the Red's got a new vehicle. Let's check it out. They only got a Jeep. We got a tank. That's way better. Okay, I'll be right there. And I mean hell. If you have to live the rest of your life in a memory, you might as well make it a good one. Oh my goodness, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Why am I getting emotional? I've seen this episode before. Oh, hell. Okay. <laughs> I need to go clean up my face. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, I have seen this episode before. I know I have. But I guess it was just different when I watched it that long ago and because I've been watching the series again and properly paying attention to it and, and probably um, you're bonding with the characters and and creating that emotional attachment that I guess I do and like I do in video games I guess it's because of that that it's <laughs> made me you know emotional <laughs> 
it's kind of it's kind of um touching i guess it's bittersweet that whole thing about church being stuck there with this really nice memory of them all back at base you know caboose is there and tucker and i'm assuming the reds are also there somewhere as well i love that it's really touching oh it's making me want to cry again oh gosh <laughs> That's probably the first time I've ever cried at the show. I, I, I've never gotten that emotional watching the show before in my own time. <laughs> wow, I didn't think that was going to happen. I really like that though. It was like a really nice ending to, to the season. A lot of them are very, uh, you know, suspenseful. They have like a big cliffhanger. This could be a little bit of a cliffhanger anyway, just because you, you think that um, the goal in mind later on is to get Church out, but it it's kind of nice in a way. It's kind of leaves you feeling somewhat satisfied, but also not. So that's that's probably why I don't know. I forgot about the ending. Like I've seen the season. Like I said, I've seen probably up to season nine, maybe bits of season nine. I haven't finished. I don't know. We'll find out when we watch. But um, I just don't remember a lot of the stuff that I was seeing in the season apart from, you know, my favorite episode and everything else. But I just don't remember a lot of this stuff, so it, it almost felt new to me, so... You know, it's it's weird. It, it's weird. <laughs> that was really wholesome, though. I love that little memory bit at the end. Oh, it's so wholesome. Oh, God. <laughs> I really enjoyed that a lot, though. I hope you guys did as well, because I love this show. As I've said a billion times throughout this the whole reaction series, but I do, and this has just cemented that, if anything. It's just how, how awesome but touching and sweet the show can be at times, so... Yeah, I guess we'll be moving on to season 9 in the next React episode. Season 9, I think... I, I'm not entirely sure if I watched all the way through. I may have... I've definitely watched a bit of the beginning but I don't know if I watched the whole thing, so we'll find out when I get there, but yeah, we'll be moving on to season 9 and and, and then season 10, the stuff that I haven't watched, so this should be, uh, should be one hell of a ride. I really enjoyed this season, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did as well. Do let me know in the comments what you thought about it, what were your favourite bits, your favourite episodes, who are your favourite characters, you know, all that stuff, I'd love to know. Big shout out to Niall for being an awesome patron, thank you so so much for your support, it really helps me and the channel out a lot. And if you guys would also like to help me and the channel, then don't forget to check the patron link in the description. If you enjoyed this episode, nuke that like button. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay rad, my friends. Bye!